Unless you live in one of the few places that Xiaomi actually sells smartphones, then if you are to buy a Xiaomi device, you're likely going to need to buy it from a reseller. Depending on where they that reseller gets their supply, most of the time that is from China. So whenever you get your device shipped to you, it is most likely on the China ROM for that device. Even though it's in English, and even though it has the Google Play Store, you're most likely on the China ROM. So today I want to show you how to flash from the Chinese ROM to the global stable ROM of MIUI on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Plus and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. So it doesn't matter if you are using the Indian version or the Chinese version. This will help you to get from the Chinese version, just in case maybe you were beta testing the new update, over to the global version of the ROM. And we're going to do this with the fast boot method. So to start, we're going to need to download a couple of things. First, we need to grab the Mi Flash tool directly from Xiaomi. And I'll have all of this linked in the full tutorial, which will be linked below this video for those of you who are watching this on YouTube. Once you have the Mi Flash tool installed, we can go ahead and open it up. And then we're going to need to download the Fastboot file, again, directly from Xiaomi. I'll have this linked in the full tutorial. That file will likely take a while to download. Once that's done downloading, we're going to extract that file. So it's all those files are sitting in its own folder on your computer. And then you're going to want to copy and paste that location of that folder into the me flash tool. And I'll show you that in a bit. Before that though, we need to boot the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 into fast boot mode. And we're going to do that by turning off the device. We're going to press and hold the power and volume down buttons at the same time to get us into fast boot mode. And once we are in fast boot mode, then we can connect our computer to the Redmi Note 5 with a USB cable. After we have connected the USB cable from our PC to the Redmi Note 5, again, I just want to show you that this is the folder that we got whenever we extracted that fast boot firmware. We're going to be copying this whole file location, this whole folder location, and we're going to paste it directly in the text box in the Mi Flash tool. Once that's done, we're just going to press the refresh button. It's going to, to detect our device. Then we're going to press the flash button. This is very similar to using the flash all batch file for anybody who has ever flashed a firmware on a Nexus or Pixel device. Except instead of actually doing this from command prompt and having ADB and Fastboot tools installed, that is what this me flash tool does. Because as you can see, all of these images that we are flashing to the device is very similar to how Google does it. We just need to be patient during this time. 
We have a nice little easy to read progress bar that gives us our overall progress. It tells us how many time, how many seconds has, elas has elapsed. And we get to see which command it was on right then. And like right there, it was just flashing the system image. And again, just be patient. And now the flashing is done. Once that's done, you're going to see our smartphone reboot. This first boot cycle is going to take a little bit longer than normal. Just because we have just done a factory reset, just like flashing any other firmware file. So it's going to have to set everything back up. And then we need to activate Android connect our device over or connect our account to the device and then we will be back up back up and running on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 the Redmi Note 5 Pro on the global stable ROM of MIUI So as you can see, I was getting a cannot install MIUI version on this device. After doing a quick Google search, a lot of people were recommending that I need to I needed to unlock the bootloader again, which seemed weird because the bootloader was already unlocked before. But even still, I, I powered down the Redmi Note 5, booted it into fast boot mode, and then I opened up the Me Unlock application connected it to there and did the just the regular unlock the bootloader option that I did there that rebooted the device did a factory reset again just like every time you lock or unlock the bootloader and now I'm going through another boot cycle which should have us right back into MIUI on the global version So that may or may not happen to you. I hadn't seen any of that mentioned in the fast boot guides and tutorials that I have seen online. Even Xiaomi's own fast boot instructions did not mention any of that. So just use that as a little piece of warning just in case you notice the same thing. That is how to get past that.